Um, the design review panel is a uh, group of perhaps, I think now it's 14 or 15 um, architects, landscape architects, um, urban designers, um, traffic consultant uh, uh, people uh, uh, who uh, assemble once every month, sometimes more often than that, for a session of discussion and, um, and, uh, and uh, dialogue. Um, which lasts about six or seven hours. And in the course of that, um, the, uh, these are all recorded uh, uh, events, and the public can get copies of it actually through Freedom of Information, um, and they can attend if they like. Uh, the, um, the events are um, organized by the City of Toronto. Uh, um, panel sits around a U-shaped table and they're given documents to review prior to the session. Uh, we're encouraged to visit the sites, to develop opinion, and uh, sit down and listen. Listen to the architect and the developer and the city uh, planners who explain their role. Uh, we're then asked to um, take a look at three questions after the architect presents the scheme. And we ask uh, questions of clarification then we break, we have a huddle around the project a panel and um, we discuss what some of the key issues are for a couple of minutes. Then we go back to our, uh, our places and one by one we comment on the proposal. And our goal is uh, to improve the, uh, improve the building and in particular public space or public um, experience of the building. We acknowledge that there are business interests uh, that are there, but our focus is public experience. So, for example, a building which is very tall, we're interested in the um, shadow that it casts on the community. We're interested in the, um, in the way it's perceived as having a base, a middle and a top to it. Um, we're interested in the adjacencies uh, that are created by two other buildings that are tall or whatever they are. Um, uh, we're interested in the, um, the richness of the base of the building because that's where the Section 37 um, uh, kicks in or just good design kicks in. Uh, the base of the building is where you uh, have the public realm for the most part and uh, that has to be good. Um, that's the, um, that's the goal that we have. Uh, we see four to five of these projects at each session. The projects are then coming back twice, sometimes in special circumstances, three times. And we expect each time that the project is going to get better. We vote uh, on the projects at each session. Some flunk, they get zero support and they have to redesign. Other projects on the other end of the spectrum are spectacular and uh, they address uh, every one of the issues that we would, we would expect good architects, great architects, uh, every architect and really fine developers to take to heart as they build in Toronto. Uh, we should be interested in the base of the building um, being a place where you would have a daycare, where you would have 10 people having businesses rather than uh, a shopper's drug mart. There, there is just this zeal about um, hyper-development, um, increasing density, and uh, we'll figure out what it all means later. That's not good enough. And uh, if there's anything that's going to um, hobble us from that vision of Toronto, it's this, this kind of uh, uh, gambling mentality when we can do, when we're, act we're actually far more interesting than that.